Hey guys, I'm back, and today in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual, so it's not going to be an update, uh, although you may see some uh, some heavy growth of the tank. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a costing video, uh, so I'm going to be doing the total cost that I've spent on the tank, um, and so I'm going to start off with equ equipment, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to be going through livestock, so that's fish and coral. So let's start off with the basics. So the main thing is the tank. I didn't, well, the stand is just the desk, but that, I'm not really going to count that. So it doesn't really count as, you know, the tank. So the tank itself is £120. Uh, that's what I got it for anyway. That's a standard, 120 130 uh, So 120 for the tank, that's including the, so you've got the tank, which is the glass. You've got the lid, stock light, and you've got a basic rear filtration which I highly uh, recommend uh, modifying I did a video on that uh, quite a while this about seven months back I did a video on that modifying it and the way I've got it is doing absolutely amazingly next thing on the list is the skimmer I'm not running that currently at the moment because it is absolutely dog <laughs> it's it's just it's awful okay it's just I hate it it's it's really loud, it's not even that efficient, it's cheap, and it's made by Fluval, I mean, uh, uh, it's just, so I've ditched that, but that was 50 quid. Um, my biological that I got in the tank, uh, that was 20, um, but, well, that was for my share, anyway, it was like 50 quid for like 3 kilos, uh, but my dad's got like 2 or 3 kilos in his tank, and I got... 900 or just literally right underneath a kilo in this tank which is more than enough uh it says 1.5 to 2 kilos per 100 liters uh, this biohome ultra is absolutely amazing um so i pay about uh, i'm not really too sure on this but it's about 30 quid a bucket roughly uh we use red seas coral pro salt best salt definitely uh yeah it's about 30 quid if we pay that about every two months or so um, but it depends when you're doing water changes really I have actually skipped one recently so that probably won't be using this much um, sand that I got for the tank I got um, I think it's Red Seas I'm pretty sure it's Red Seas Ocean White I have sand I bought the Ocean White and then I bought the Fiji Pink so I'm just, I'm just gonna say 30 um, no, 20 actually 20 for bag of sand which is more than enough Actually, one bag of sand does both of our tanks, which is quite surprising. The return pump that I got in the tank is a 600 litre an liter hour pump. Uh, it's called the Eheim Compact 600. Uh, that was £20. My heater, I got a 100 watt titanium heater. That was um, about 30, 30 quid for the heater. Plus the controller, you're looking at about 75, 80 quid. But it's Bulletproof reliable, um, it's, I've never had a single problem with this here, it's absolutely amazing. And the controller looks really cool as well. Rock, um, I didn't spend that much on rock actually, about 60 quid for six pound for rock. Uh, I don't know how many kilos it is, but it is real reef rock, so it's definitely the most expensive rock you can get. It's like 15 quid a kilo or something, something stupid like that, it's very expensive. Um, the magnet that I got, uh, clean, from cleaning my glass, that's a Tunzi care magnet, uh, really good, doesn't scratch the glass at all. Uh, fish food, uh, not much at all on this, it's about 15 quid a pot, but it lasts about a year. I mean, I could definitely get two years out of it on my tank, but me and my dad, we split a pot in half, uh, he uses a lot more than I do. So you could definitely get, on this tank with three fish, uh, you could definitely get two years from a pot, which is 15 quid, cheap as chips. Uh, Pyrogen, I, that was that was fiver, really cheap. Uh, I don't, I'm not running that anymore, it just takes a, the little yellow tint to the water. I'm just using carbon now, uh, no more Pyrogen. The wave machine, that was uh, 40, yeah that was 40 for the wave machine. Including the controller, it's the J-Cod SW2. Uh, it's not that powerful. Well, it goes up to 2,500 litres an hour, uh, so it is pretty good. It's probably the least reliable one, but I've been, but to be honest, I've been run, I've been running it for about six months. Uh, was first I was running just a little pump in the corner, little uh, 300 litre an hour pump. 
but then I upgraded to the wa to the wave machine. So that's been running for about five or six months. Not had a single problem with it, so it's uh, it's reliable enough. Okay, so now uh, for me, this is probably the most exciting part. Uh, so that's livestock. So t so bear in mind this tank isn't finished. Finished. Uh, I am gonna mention now that at the end of the year, uh, I'm looking to upgrade to a larger tank. I'm not going to say what or how big, but it's just going to be a little bit bigger than what I got. Uh, that's what I'm saying from now, so you'll uh, you'll find out uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, so, um, livestock. I'm going to go into that now. Uh, so, let's start off with fish. Why not? So, I did have a, a red firefish in the tank. He was 30. Uh, he didn't die. just took him out, uh, sold him off to the, fi uh, well, the store that I got him from, actually. Uh, for like a third of the price, uh, which was just a little bit annoying, but he was 30. Um, the two clownfish together were 30 quid for the pair, male and a female. The sapphire damsel was 10. Um, yeah, so not that much for the fish. I've only got three fish in there currently. It's only a small tank, I don't want a massive buy load. Um, clean, up, clean up crew, um, I've got a little list in front of me, I'm reading so. Right, so turbo snails, well the normal regular turbo snails I had, I got two of them, ten, which was 10 quid. Uh, one died though, I've still got one in the tank, which is nearly at the end of its life. Uh, a hermit crab, which I flushed on the toilet, which was five. Conch, five. And, oh yeah, the two other, Mex well, pro true Mexican turbo snails in the tank, they were 10 for both of them. Alright, so let's quickly discuss coral. Um, not much in tank at the moment, but well, to, to be honest, it is pretty packed. It just needs to grow up. Uh, so pulse coral, that was five. Green star polyps, ten. Uh, Zoids for all four frags of them, which was forty quid. So not bad. Duncan, fifteen. Torch coral, thirty-five. It is a euphilia, and it's quite rare to find them uh, recently in my area. Reef forage, which isn't a coral, it's a coral food. That was ten quid. The candy cane, the green to toxic trumpet, 15, and the a can, 15, and finally the hammer coral, the little green one, branching, which, which was 40. Uh, so that is the to that's everything I've bought for the tank. I've discussed literally everything. Um, maybe a bucket, 10 quid. Uh, so a total that I've spent on this tank, um, cover your ears, about 900 quid. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, that is quite expensive, um, but it can be done cheaply. You can definitely set one of these tanks up, uh, excluding livestock, for definitely like 200 quid, maybe, maybe 150. So all you need is the tank, and uh, you don't uh, wave machine. That's just a little bonus. This is a little video of the starfish that uh, I found in a tank from the other night. Um, so it can be done cheaply. It doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, but I have I've gone a little bit overboard, and on the new tank it will, uh, which will be at the end of the year again. Um, so don't get your hopes up yet. Um, so yeah, I think that will do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, nine hundred quid for this for this tank that I've uh, that I've bought. It's quite expensive. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, in the next video, uh, probably be an update. I don't know what I'm, what I'm new, getting new coral wise, but yeah, you'll see me then. Bye. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are unevil.